Ms. Uh, Tuya, uh, Ms. Olai, and uh, Mr. Maurizio, uh, representatives of the uh, United Nations Development Program, Pacific Office here in Fiji, the European Union and Pacific representative, as well as our Pacific community, uh, and all the guests who have been invited to be here and be part of this uh, very special moment of partnership between the Ministry of Lands and our development partners. Invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, a big uh, Mula Binaka to all of you. Uh, when we left uh, Suva earlier in the week, uh, it was raining and wet right through to Natovi. Uh, when we woke up in Lamasa the next day, it was all bright and sunny, and we went all the way to Undu Point, uh, towards the end of uh, the Northern Island. Uh, and I'm tempted to say this morning that we brought the northern weather <laughs> here to Suva with us yesterday. It's an honor uh, to be here today with you, our development partners, and to also be part of this uh, very great moment of the handing over of the high-end scanner to the Mineral Resources Department here in Namboa. This uh, occasion serves as a very pivotal, but also an equally important moment for our global partnership and our regional collaboration. And the significance, as has been mentioned to us here today by Ms. Olai, the significance of digi digitization and digitalization. The significant partnership with our Pacific community in SPC in assisting with the Development Minerals Program in Fiji, with the funding, of course, by the African, Caribbean, Pacific Group of States and the European Union. The program was initially rolled out in 2015 with the UNDP coordinating the program. It underscores our collective commitment and, of course, Fiji government's priority in using our mineral resources to enhance development in Fiji as well as in the region. The Development Minerals Program in Fiji involves three phases focusing on the importance of development minerals and how this sector can be sustainably managed. Today, we will witness a part of the second phase achievement that started in 2021, which provided an opportunity for Fiji to implement the actions recommended in the baseline assessment conducted in 2018 and to continue the strong partnership with UNDP and SPC. Fiji has accomplished significant achievements throughout phase two, and I will just briefly share with you some of the key achievements so that we can together put our finger on these developments as we march forward to phase three. Firstly, a new standard operating procedure was established to accurately capture the economic contribution of development minerals to Fiji's economy and its official statistics. This is part of the work with the Bureau of Statistics ITLTB and, of course, SPC. We then constructed four clay cooking houses and one salt cooking house in collaboration with the Fiji Arts Council to support our communities who depend on clay pottery and salt making for their livelihoods and for your information, salt and clay are development minerals by definition. We have developed an earth observing observation monitoring tool to detect illegal mining and quarrying using satellite data on the digital earth platform established by SPC. We are also in partnership with the University of Queensland for the Blue Concrete Initiative. When I was first uh, informed about this program, I imagined 
that the concrete would actually be blue <laughs> in color until I was uh, further taken into the concept. But the Blue Concrete Initiative aims to reduce CO2 emissions of the cement industry in Fiji by a remarkable 40%, and perhaps more importantly, significantly reduce the cost of cement in Fiji and by broader implication throughout the Pacific region. And that's achievable by using our own local resources to produce affordable cement. This is critical in resilient infrastructure development and climate adaptation in our very fragile Pacific. We have developed a digital library with the support of SPC with digitized data. With the wealth of data in MRD's library, this initiative makes it accessible to potentially and potential users globally that want to visit online. The e-library of the Mineral Resource Department was inaugurated during the STAR conference hosted at the Holiday Inn in November of 2023. This cutting-edge initiative signifies a significant step towards digital transformation and has indeed revolutionized public service delivery, particularly through implementation of e-governance. This is where the new high-end scanner comes in, whereby this advanced technology will significantly increase the speed at which our department can scan documents and make them accessible through the digital library. We are very grateful to the United Nations Development Program for procuring this equipment and to the EU for providing the necessary funding. This achievement not only aims to deliver our customers' needs, but also align with Fiji government's overarching objective of promoting ease of doing business. And our ministry's innovative directive is crystal clear this year. We need to go digital. I would like to take this opportunity to express Fiji's commitment towards continuing as a focus country in phase three. The Ministry is currently preparing Fiji's proposal to be reselected as a focus country for phase three, which emphasizes on advancing the blue concrete initiative developed during phase two. This is a priority for the Ministry in strategizing and innovating ways to combat the triple planetary crisis that faces our nation, our Pacific, and the rest of the world. The second phase of the program is coming to an end next month, and we express our heartfelt gratitude to the European Union for funding, which will run from 2024 to 2026. I reiterate, this occasion stands as a testament to this collaborative innovative innovation achieved through our partnership with the SPC the UNDP through the ACP EU Development Minerals Program in Fiji. And I eagerly anticipate the success of this e-library shaping comprehensive and collaborative approaches. Let's strive for success for the third phase of our ACP EU Development Minerals Program in Fiji that will pave the way forward for development minerals here and in the Pacific. Once again, Thank you very much to everybody.